Listen up, when we go out, tuck your shirt tail when you get out. Coach Boyd will send you out by your group just like we normally will at a game. Just hustle and get dressed and get ready to go. Some business. We ain't had a chance to hit nobody else. And we did. did hey, we get to do that today. All the way through. All the way through. Jack and around. Get ready to get busy. Hey, baby, we're going to be all right, but we got uh, freshmen and redshirt freshmen. I mean, this will be the first time we've hit anybody ever, ever. We want to get better. That's what we're here for. We're here to get better. Now, hey, ain't everybody going to win every play. But if you lose one, try to win by the next five in a row. You understand? Yeah. Let's punch that thing in the end zone act like we've been here before. Let's get to the sideline and have a great day. Let's go, baby. Let's go now. Hold on. All you got, you got to hang on the field. One, two, three. Come on, yo. That's quarterback. Who in the hell? God dang it. We didn't block the five or the we ought to be motivating their ass. You understand me? Brad Poston, you understand? We ought to be motivating their ass, ripping holes where we're going whew, rather than gaining three and four. You understand? Hey. Hey. Guys, we've had three quarterback center exchange fumbles and one running back fumble. Four turnovers in about 40 minutes. Boom! Oh. Oh. There you go, there you go, there you go. There you go. Get to the ball when we are about. Get the ball, don't jump. They got the audacity to go for it on fourth down against us, dude. You got to turn up the intensity right now. Okay, make a play, make a tackle. We, we got a Division three team driving the ball on your ass. Division three. Come on. Where's Coach Snyder? I'm tired of looking at it. I'm tired of looking at all of you. Because it ain't personal and you don't care. You don't play like you care. It's like it's okay when you screw up. If this was Newberry next Saturday, we're losing big time right now. I'm tired of looking at your asses. Either decide to care up, or brother. stay the hell out of the way. Oh! You can't get cut! You should never, ever want to be pushed off the field. When you're on the field as a defensive unit, your pride should keep you on the field. We should have to pull a whole unit off. That's what we did. To get them stopped, we had to pull a whole unit off. I'm gonna tell you, we got a long way to go. Well, Boys, uh, we needed that humbling little treat, wasn't it? Huh? Anybody as good as you thought you were? <laughs> I'll promise you this: Newberry College, if they if they they gonna run screens, they gonna run the zone, and they gonna throw the ball deep. That's what they gonna do. They're going to take them wide outs that's supposed to be all world and throw them all deep. See if we can cover them. You understand that? We got to go back, get our butts ready for it. We got to go practice tomorrow, walk through Saturday morning. Next week, we got to have a great week of practice. Let's go, baby. Break it down. 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 Y'all, let's go. Believe on three. We got it in here. Let's go. Believe on three. One, two, three. Believe. I think it uh, fits the mean enough requirement. Yeah. Just to put it on and do it. That is bad, man. I like that. I can't breathe. Is that a helmet inside there? Football. Is that a, that's a basketball jersey? Hold it up. We are uh, now official. The mascot can be checked off the list. What's next? The state engineer came by to give us a substantial completion inspection and we were not ready and she really didn't seem to be very happy that we called her in for, for this inspection and we weren't ready. She's coming tomorrow. Well, it's getting there. And see, we're planning right now to go ahead and 
complete this section and then go up over there. I think it's going to get done, don't you? I hope it's going to get done. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Push yourself. Push it. Hush. Let's go. Nick, that don't count. Sorry, son. That one don't count, man. I said run too hard. That wasn't too hard. Down and back. Wait, that wasn't hard enough. That wasn't hard enough. You're going to run them again. Go. Go. Let's go home, man. Let's go. He's right. You get your ass running. Freshman telling you get your ass running. You get it running. Hey, I promise you, we're going to do everything within our power to make this a team and a good team. If you ain't willing to do it, if you're selfish and all you're worried about is you, then we will run your ass off. Line it up. Line it up. Move, baby, move. Nick Johnson loafed, but he loafed. Tony saw it. He said, Would you run your ass through there? Yes. Nick, oh, Nick went after him. Tony was right. So, a lot of you guys sometimes act like this is a first year junior college team. That's what you act like. What we had right there was we had a young buck telling an old buck to run. To run. And y'all not have to tell the old buck to run. That's some young leadership right there. We'll take that young leadership. We'll take it. Because like I said, we leave this field, everything stays out here. Two guys want to get it on. We'll stay out here and we'll let you and let y'all go one on one. You want to watch? I'm gonna lie, I've been in a winning program. I want to stay in one hot day. I ain't never been in one. It looks like a rude awakening. Two and 42. And that team was more together than this team. You ain't gonna be a man and take your ass back home. That's all I gotta say. You make no better. No better. I've been asked to sing the national anthem. Is it more pressure doing that than building this thing in your hat? Singing is no problem at all for me. Uh -huh. So this, let her go. For the land of the free and the home of the brave. Uh, our speaker tonight, you can watch him and tell he's got a good heart. You can watch him with his sister who's handicapped, and we're talking about taking advantage of the things we've been blessed with. Uh, this guy loves his sister, loves his mama, wants to make his mama very proud. We're real excited about him, Greg Williams. I really don't play football for myself, be honest. My little sister, she was born with two different types of Down syndrome. She'll never be able to walk. They're trying to find surgeons now for she'll be able to walk and talk. That's why I get so upset when I see y'all back playing. And then after practice, I see y'all got a lot of energy. Yeah, it hurts me. It hurts me a lot. Yeah, I got tears in my eyes right now because I know my sister never walked. That's the reason why I go on the field every day, giving the best I can be. If I fall out, at least I know I fall out going hard. But I know in my heart I play for my sister. And how many of y'all think y'all going to be ready September the 6th? Will y'all stand up? If y'all think y'all ready right now, stand up. But, if, but do y'all want to win stand up? So I'm going to tell you like this. September the 6th, I'm going to have my game face on. I know I'm not where I want to be September the 6th. But when September the 6th come, I guarantee, as long as I'm living, I will be ready. And that's all I got to say.
Max, good job, good job. All right, this is the last time we're gonna play at band camp. How do you feel? All right, guys, you are gonna be the soundtrack for Coastal Football. The staff could not be more proud of you. I have to figure this out. I have to pull up my britches. My britches pulled up. My tail's sticking out, all right. Have fun, but not at someone else's expense. Oh, this is the right, this is the left one. You should be in good physical condition, which I so am. The old one, it just looked like, ooh, play with me, I'm a shot to clear. And this one's like, I'm gonna kick your ass. Take your hat off. You can't. Why? Oh, oh, oh man, we should have done that first, shouldn't we? Okay, so I guess we can go out here. So this is where I can run around and be stupid and people can't see me. Look at the sound of clear now. Oh my God. Mm-mm, well that feel pretty, bro. This ain't real, ain't it? That doesn't matter. I'm getting chills and jump. I gotta go, man. Welcome to my home. This is um, CCU locker number 33, home of Mr. Maurice Simmons. Oh wow! It's right. Heaven. Look, this is more than more than this. I don't even know. I have no words. <laughs> yeah, right here is. This is my director's chair. This is where I call all the shots for me. Yes. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. That's the important thing. Nice job. Tyler, Tyler, that's perfect. That's a good throw. Hustle up. Nah. That's a little better tempo in here, guys. A little better tempo. We got a great opportunity ahead of us, you understand? Coming up. Less than 48 hours. What are you going to be ready for? What's your memory going to be, you understand? What kind of memory are you going to have of it? If everybody does the thing they're supposed to do, hey, it's going to be a good memory. Never, ever get another chance to make a first impression. Now you've got a responsibility. So take it and do it, okay? Here we go. Councilman. 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 Y'all have pride in yourself and everything you do. Pride on three. One, two, three. Ah! A certificate of occupancy says that the state has approved on all the life safety items and that everything is okay. And if you don't have that, you cannot occupy the building. Everybody will check a seat will be. You've done a lot, Ricky, there's no doubt. You've uh, accomplished a lot in a very short time. And that, um, amazing. <laughs> the only thing left to do, which is one of these tedious jobs, is I want to go up and check all the handrails and seats and make sure everything's connected. So as many people as we have that we can go do that, that would be great. But before I issue a CO, I want to make sure nobody's going to lean on a railing and it goes stumbling over. Let me so. grab a few people and we'll do that. You want to shake every rail? I want to shake every rail. All right. Because the one I don't shake is the one somebody's going to lean on that they left the screw out of. Right. <laughs> okay. First ever football game at a university. You think the fraternity and sorority is going to be partying? Yeah, I do. Probably till the daylight. And if these guys couldn't sleep good, they probably couldn't play good. So that's why we got them out here secluded. At this nice place where they're all in their own bed and they'll sleep well. 4504 B and E. 4504 B. Hello. 
y'all get us in the Hold on. Did you tell them get their ass in the bed? We got children. It's almost like unbelievable to think that tomorrow, in less than 24 hours, we'll be have played our first football game. I think I'd be nervous, but I know my plays and I know my stuff, and I don't I don't mess with, I don't mess up with stuff like that. Aldi, one of the lights doing on. Oh, I had to see you get to the door. Get your big butt in the bed. Yes, sir. We haven't been exposed to the crowds, you know, the screaming fans, the cheering. That that takes your adrenaline and your excitement to a whole other level that most people have never felt before. I probably never felt the way I want to feel tomorrow, you know? They just got to find out what it takes to win. It's either going to take, you know, us getting our ass kicked or us just coming out there and clicking as a team for us to be good. I'm nervous, man. I'm nervous I'm going to mess up. Got out there and missing an assignment. You got all these people looking at you. Woo, yeah, that's a whole lot of pressure right now. New stadium, new team. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Let's see what it's all about here. So to come to college to play football for the first game, days like this. It's Unleash the Beast. The music, the smell of food, the fans going crazy. Hey, he said, Nick, what the heck? All right. Touchdown! Touchdown! Not trying to really focus on the game yet because I don't want to get too overexcited and think about too much. Trying to keep a clear head. I don't know how many will win. We'd like to be one and up, then we'll worry about that next big battle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I like it. Thank you. Unbelievable. That's good. Thank you. Wake Forest knocked off NC State 38-24. Wake moving to 2 and 0. South Carolina, of course, a surprising victory over Virginia, 31 to 7. I ain't ready. Oh, boom, ready, doubt. You know how that is, doubt. I kind of talk to myself, actually. I kind of sing <laughs> because if I don't say something, I'll get a lot of butterflies and they'll just get pent up in me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, 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 how you doing? You probably can't see me get emotional. Well, we are counting down to kickoff, and we are just around the corner with the first ever kickoff in Coastal Carolina football history. All right, guys, gather up, squeeze up. The day is finally come. Our day is here. Everybody's in the game. You understand? It takes everybody. You're a special group. Every single one of you in here been blessed with many talents. You understand? This is a football game, and it's a great event. And all I want to tell you is, enjoy it. Enjoy it, and be into it mentally, physically, and spiritually. You understand? Yes, sir. Oh, say does that. Some of y'all a little bit nervous? That's normal. That's normal. But you understand, this is our house. This is our home. Let's go out there. Play your ass off from the beginning of the game until the end and have character. And I'll promise you this. You play every play to win. You play for victory. And guess what? Victory will taste even sweeter. And the home of the bridge. See you here at half.
halftime. See you here after the game. God bless you. Let's go play. Yeah. Yeah. They want to see something good. They want to see a good team. And so I think our guys feel the pressure a little bit to prove that they can be a good team.